following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers, this is the Tia Fangi coming through with a review of the Transformers Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class Sharktacon Gnaw. Released in Wave 2 of the Studio Series 86 line, Gnaw has become one of the more uh, sought after figures of the Studio Series 86 line, and it's due to the fact that uh, the Sharktacons are a horde of Transformers that had uh, work for the Quintesson. Ons, and when the Quintesson Judge and the Alicons were released in the Earthrise line last year, here a lot of Transformers collectors wondered if we might get a new deluxe class figure of the Sharktacons, and sure enough, we got one here in the Studio Series 86 line. line. And it even showed so last year when Hasbro and Dakar told me decided to make the Quintessons a new faction of Transformers known as the Mercenary Ares, it shows here on Nas Box that he is one of the that he is a member of the Mercenary since he works for the Quintessons, so. Um, Gnaw is a, one of the more interesting Transformers characters due to the fact that Hasbro originally wanted him to be a single solitary uh, Transformers char character who originally was a Decepticon in the Transformers Generation 1 and series, series. But when production began on the Transformers Generation 1 movie, uh, the decision was made uh, to have, instead of Gnaw being uh, one solitary Transformer that instead the Sharktacons would just be a, a mindless monsters who existed to serve the Quintessons bidding. And back in the Transformers Generation 1 unfranchised as in the 1980s, the Sharktacons ended up being the only uh, action figures of the Quintessons that were released east. And essentially, yeah, Gnaw has always been in an army building Transformers character due to the uh, Hordes of Sharktacons, the Quintessons possess. S. So, oh, uh, Nah has always been uh, hard to find, and the Studio Series 86 version of Nah is no exception to that. Uh, nah has become one of the more hard to find and more, more frequently sought after Transformers action figures due to Transformers fans and collectors wanting to army build, ill to have uh, have multiple Sharktacons in their Transformers collection. So here is Nah inside his packaging. And, and unfortunately, he is one of the smaller deluxe class size Transformers action figures. Action figures, you can see right there, that's the bottom of his feet. So, uh, Gnaw is right down there with uh, Cliff Jumper and from Earth from the Earthrise and Netflix Bumblebee and being one of the smallest uh, deluxe class Transformers figures. Uh, Gnaw is bulkier than Earthrise, Cliff Jumper, and Netflix Bumblebee. He, um, he's bulkier, he has more muscle to him due to how his robot mode body proportions oceans are shaped, but he is, is definitely shorter than most deluxe class Transformers figures, so here on the side of the box you've got some artwork of Gnaw. Uh, here, on the, here on the other side of the box you've got uh, the same Im image right here, and uh, for the Studio Series 86 line, I know. Uh, you know, most of the Studio Series 86 Transformers figures have been a, a pretty great Transformers action figures to have. And I believe it's um right there. Gnaw has become the 8th uh, Transformers figure to be released in the Studio Series uh, 86 line. Here's the Transformers the movie logo here on the top of the box. Here on the back of the box you've got your product photos. You've got Gnaw in his robot mode and in his uh, beast mode of a mechanical shark. And the thing, and one of the reasons why the Shark Decons have always been freaky looking is because they've always looked like this. I read on Wikipedia several years ago that when designing the Shark Decons, and the Shark Decons essentially, instead of having the body proportions of actual sharks, they actually instead have the body proportions of portions of frogs, hogs, and the teeth are more like that of a piranhas than an actual shark. So yeah, the Shark Decon. On shark mode, it's essentially a shark with the body proportions of a frog uh, and the teeth of a piranha. So yeah, it is a monstrous look looking shark by any and all definitions. So, uh, Gnaw and the shark Arcticons uh, transform back and forth from robot mode to beast mode in 17 steps. Uh, the one sentence bio for Gnaw uh, reads, Gnaw and the shark Arcticons lurk beneath the Quintesson courtroom, ready to carry it out the sentence of any bot unlucky enough to fall victim to Quintesson justice. So yes, and like all the Studio Series 
Grease figures, uh, the inside of the box contains uh, a diorama of a scene from the Transformers movie that Nas is from. And in this case, it's the Quintessons uh, Pit of Judgment. Judgment, so 99% of the time, the Quintessons, if they find you guilty or not guilty, they feed you to the Sharkticons. Now, more recent, now because Hasbro originally wanted Gnaw to be an individual Transformers character, character some Transformers fans and collectors have singled out out from their uh, uh, hordes of Sharkticons Gnaw as being a, like a sub-commander of the Sharkticons, the only one to have a name and identity. Most recently, the, in the Transformers Cyberverse cartoon series, Gnaw was in fact act fleshed out as an individual Sharkticon, and he was the uh, general of all the Sharkticons. He declared that his name was General Gnaw. Uh, so yes, Gnaw is one of the first examples of a Transformers character where the way Hasbro wanted the character to be presented entered the way Hasbro uh, imagined the char character was completely different from how the character was portrayed in the Tran Transformers cartoon series by uh, the animation studio that worked on on it. So yes, Hasbro wanted Gnaw to be an individual Transformers character, and Sharkticon was going to just be the uh, subgroup of Decepticon, of which he was originally supposed to be the sole member. Uh, similar to how there's three Insecticons, Bombshell, Shrapnel, and Kickback, and of course, the five Dinobots, Grimlock, Swoop, Snar, Arl, Slag, and Sludge. Uh, so yes, that was the, that was what Hasbro envisioned when designing Gnaw, was that he would be the Solitary member of the Sharkticons, but uh, Sumbo Studios and the uh, uh, animation studio that worked on the Transformers Generation 1 movie instead decided, rather than having just one individual Sharkticon running around, they would there would instead be the uh, hordes of Sharkticon on striking fear into the hearts of any and all, all, all who uh, end up finding themselves on the Quintessons' home planet. So yes, uh, here he is out of the box, and the reason how, why I took Gnaw out of the box so quickly is um, I decided to army build Gnaw with, uh, uh, and have multiple Sharkticons, so I found two copies so far, I'm debating on if I'm going to get more of them or not. I'd like to have an even number of Sharkticons due to the fact act that uh, the first uh, modern day figures of the Sharkticons were uh, uh, released in the Titans Return line five years ago in 2016, and so for a size comparison in robot mode, here is Duty Series 86 Gnaw, who is a deluxe class figure with the uh, Titans Return version of Gnaw, uh, which is the uh, Legend, which was the, uh, this size of Transformers figure was known as Legends class, they're now being called a uh, core class in the Kingdom line, that's the new name for the Legends class size, Ice Transformers, and so, oh, uh, the transformations are different between these two figures, but in robot mode, oh, uh, most of the kibble ends up in the same place. So, though even though they transform or them differently, it is easy to say to see the Studio Series eighty six Shark Decons as being upscale versions of the Titans Return versions we got back in twenty sixteen. And the re now the reason why I wanted to army build build an even number ever of, of uh, Deluxe class uh, Shark Decons is because uh, this was the Hasbro version of the uh, Shark Decons from Titans Return. And I got four copies of this and the fifth Shark Decon on of the old school Legends class figures I got was this one. This is the Takara Tomy version, so I'm trying to get all three of them on camera at the same time. So, same time. So, here all the way over here is the Hasbro version of the Titans Return Legends class Shark Decons. Here's Takara Tomy's version, and of course the new Studio Series Deluxe version, so I got one copy of Takara Tomy's version to use as Gnaw to have as a sub, to be a sub-commander to the Sharktacons, and so that's why I wanted to army build an even number of Sharktacons so that Gnaw is no longer just a general to Sharktacons that are his own size, he's also general to Sharktacons that are twice his size as well, so uh, this is the Sharktacon figure I use as Gnaw, and the rest are just uh, Sharkticon drones, whole owns that make up the Sharkticon horde. Alright, so, looking around at this figure, figure out, because, as the Sharkticons were originally Decepticons in the Transformers Generation 1 line, the, the G Generation 1 action figures, just like the 
Titans Return versions had Decepticon logos here on their chests, but again, with Hasbro oh, and Takaratomi making the Quintessons a different faction of Transformers known as the Mercenaries, uh, Ares, the, Ares, the Decepticon logo has been does not exist on the chest of the new Studio Series Deluxe Class figure. So, one nice thing about the new Studio Series Sharticons is that it comes with an additional accessory piece that the Titans Return version lacks, which is the laser guns that the Sharticons had in the Transformers Generation 1 movie and in their appearances during the third season of the Transformers G1 series. Here we say yes, it is nice for Na to have that additional accessory piece. Out of the package, as some of you probably could tell looking at the box, the backpack, which is the uh, upper half of the Sharktacon head along with the dorsal fin, it is detached attached in the box, box because you can see here, uh, Na uh, is much wider than the standard size box for the Studio Series 86 line. And so that's one reason for detaching it. It's very easy to attach. It slides on and off on the middle of that area right there. There. The dorsal fin also detaches. So if you want uh, to give Na a dagger type weapon, weapon out of the dorsal fin, you can do that as well. But the two main weapons that the Sharticons used in the Transformers a G1 movie and the cartoon series was their laser guns and their tails, which actually form formed uh, uh, flail maces, so that was, so yeah, the Sharticons are as dangerous as they, as they come, um, and they're a danger in both, not just in shark mode, but in robot mode as well, so Na has pretty standard articulation, the head is on a ball joint, but on this cop, not be, it's very tight, got universal jointed shoulders, so the arms can go forwards and backwards here in 60 degrees, although when you do rotate the arms backwards, uh, be careful because the, uh, uh shark arm, arms are right here on the back neck and there's no place for them to fold away or tuck in they just sit off the back sides of the back as back kibble just be careful when you move the robot mode arms backward that you don't bump the shark mode arms because they are super thin you got silver joint points in the bicep hinged elbows uh, no wrist articulation since the hands just uh, uh fold inward and outward for transformation uh there is no waist swivel due to the entire torso section all the way down down to the pelvis being one solitary piece so no waist articulation unfortunately but you do have a universal jointed hips so the legs can go outward they can go forward this much they can go backwards this much and as you can see right there uh, the knee actually has almost uh, 180 degrees of bend so if you want to give the shark to cons uh cons uh, reverse knees you can do that as well so hinge joints of the knees uh, swivel joints at the hips. Hips, uh, the heel spurs can go upward and downward if you want. And you have ankle rockers, but unfortunately, they're the e the ankle rockers. Uh, if you activate them, it looks like the Sharktacons have broken their broken their feet. So yeah, that's not the uh, it's not the best uh, best articulation around. But yes, that's pretty much all there is to say about Gnaw in robot mode. I do love the inclusion of the laser guns that they had in the transform. Warmer's G1 series. So let's get this guy transformed and taste, take a close look at him in the mode that may aid Na and the Sharktacons famous, the Shark Mode. Alright, and so here is Na transformed into Shark Mode. And again, and instead of looking like an actual shark, it looks like a shark that has the body proportions of a frog and also the teeth of a piranha than, a shark, than an actual shark. Alright, so in Shark Mode, uh, or mode because Na has the uh, uh, looks like a cross between a shark and a frog. He's got legs instead of flippers, so he's got two legs right here. Um, you can get it to stand on a flat surface, ideally, ideally, but ideally, but depending on how you have the legs position, uh, Na could flop up forward a bit. Uh, what helps it standing end up is that the lay is having the lay eggs uh, be widespread. Ed, and that's always been a problem. As you can see, there it goes right there. There, depending on how you have the legs angled, Gnaw could fall forward since most of the weight eight is at the front of the shark mode, and the legs are all the way at the very back, with the only uh, weight behind them being the being the shark tail. And that's pretty much it. You still got the same 
articulation that Na had before. Uh, legs can go forward and backwards, outwards, outwards, bicep swivel, hinge knee, and uh, what's nice about uh, the shark decons is that the robot mode arms end up becoming the shark mode legs, so that's pre pretty fun to see. And um, as far as weapon storage for the laser gun, there is a sculpted um, sculpted a peg hole right there. It's hexagon shape. Instead of being the standard five millimeters, it's only I believe two millimeters. And there's a small peg right there. Um, I believe it is um, the same size as the uh, blast effects used in the War for Cybertron trilogy figures. Figures. So if you wanted to, you could put a blast effect right there on the side of. Nas laser gun and so pretty much for the laser gun there's two positions you can do you can have it in attack mode where it's facing forward or you can have it in defense mode or defense mode or aerial attack defense mode where it's pointing up where it's angled upward upward so it is a cool little thing to you know, they did but it was only done on one side and on the other side of Nas, there's no peg hole for it so if you wanted to uh if you do army build the shark decons and you're wondering if you could make the shark decons look symmetrical by having two cannons on them instead of just one, unfortunately it's not going to happen. Happen so. The dorsal fin is a separate piece, so if you want to, you can rotate the dorsal fin in left and right. Uh, one thing, one plus that the Studio Series version of Gnaw and the shark decons has is uh, double jointed uh, arms. There's hinge joints in the elbows and, of course, swivel joints, points at the shoulder. Oh, there's, that's pretty nice to see. Most action figures of the Shark Decons, the uh, arms, because they're so small and thin, have been just one joint. So to have double jointed arms is a plus on this one. But of course, the main, main gimmick with if the Studio Series Shark Decons is the how wide you can open the jaw. That's the widest that the jaw will open. As you can see with those fear sharp teeth protruding from those jaws, that, that is definitely a creature you would not want to encounter inside the water. So depending on how you have the uh, upper and lower jaws positions, you can give Gnaw an upper bite and have the uh, have him looking upward, upward slightly. Slightly, you can't really give Gnaw an underbite, an underbite, I due to the uh, how the jaw is positioned. Ishin, but yet, yeah. yes, I just love all the sculpted detail that went into the teeth, and I love how they uh, fit perfectly, like. You like that just like I, I could put on his teeth. teeth do. But yeah, that's, uh, I'm just amazed at all the detailing that went, in, went into designing the new Studio Series Shark Decons. And so for a quick size comparison, here is the Titans Return Shark Decon. As you can see, this is twice the size of this figure, even without the laser gun. And, and this is a vast improvement over what we got in the Titans Return line. And of course, here is the... Uh, the Karatomi version that I use is Gnaw. So that's one of the reasons why I bought two copies of the Deluxe Shark Decon since I already have a Shark Decon that I use as Gnaw. Uh, but it's all personal preference if you want. And I believe the Hasbro, looking at the uh, two Legends Class Shark Decons that were released in by Hasbro and Dakar in 2016, I believe the Hasbro version is based off the uh, cartoon model, while well, Takara Tomy's version is based off of the uh, Generation 1 action figure. figure. And here for the Studio Series 86 line, uh, compared to the two different paint jobs that these Shartikons have, and then looking at the Studio Series version, it does feel like it's a mixture of the two uh, Hasbro and Takara Tomy's Legends Class Shartikons from 2016. And so, uh, whether or not uh, we're going to get uh, this, this mold of the Shark Decon, this version of the Shark Decons in a different paint job uh, is uncertain at this point. I, w I honestly wouldn't be too surprised if Hasbro and Dakar Tomy announce in the uh, Generation Selects line that they're going to release a repaint of the Shark Decon, repaint of Gnaw as a generic Shark Decon, which has a paint job resembling the Shark Decons either from the Cyberverse series or the or the, or the uh, Prime War series or. Uh, based on the paint job that the Charger Cons had in the had in the comic books. Thanks. But yes, I do highly recommend you get Gnaw, 
Even if you can only find one copy as a standalone figure, this version of Gnaw uh, is pretty impressive looking. And if you don't have, if you didn't, if you don't have the Dakar Tomy version of Gnaw, and you've got multiples of the uh, Titans Return Legends class Shark Decons, and having this larger deluxe class version as General Gnaw uh, would be a great uh, sub commander to your Shark Decon horde. But yes, I do highly recommend you get this figure if you can find it. Even if you even if you find just one copy, I still recommend getting it because even as a standalone figure, if you don't army build, build it, the new Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class Shark Decons are impressive Transformers figures. So thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support. Thank you guys all for watching the review to the end. And until next time, you guys, this has been the TF Fan Geek. Stay safe, stay healthy. Transformer and roll out. Goodbye, everyone.